Excellences, dear friends, today we mark a milestone in the history of human rights. It takes place at a time of crisis and rising conflicts, war and division. In Ukraine, in Yemen, in Israel and Gaza, in the Sahel region. The world of today sadly does not reflect the dream we had 75 years ago. In times like these, it is important to remember our shared vision from the past, and even more important, our shared wishes for a better future. One of the visionary people who drafted the Declaration on Human Rights 75 years ago were actually a Dane. She left a solid mark, insisting that the Declaration should not only refer to men, but to everyone. This strong focus on women's rights has been a key priority for Denmark ever since. Today, I am proud to announce the pledges of Denmark. Firstly, we will give a new contribution of 2.6 million euro to the High Commissioner's Office. Secondly, we will launch a new national action plan against racism and hate crimes next year. The current rise in anti-Semitism underlines our obligation to fight against racism and discrimination in whatever form it may take. Thirdly, human rights will remain the foundation of our development cooperation. Fourth, we will remain committed to safeguard equal rights and opportunities for all, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity. And finally, it is a key priority for Denmark to make tech work for human rights, not against them. Earlier this year, we launched the Digital Democracy Initiative to help civil society promote democracy and human rights in today's digital age. Human rights can never be taken for granted, and we need to work hard every day to keep them alive. Thank you.